Hey, what's up, DJs? It's Ryan Cher here with Dex 3.6. In this latest iteration of our flagship Mix Everything DJ software, we've introduced a new video link feature. The video link feature allows you to select the directory of videos, stock footage, uh, pretty much any videos. You can even use other music videos. And the software will select those videos to play if you're playing regular audio tracks. So if you're doing a video mix set, and you're mixing videos and you want to transition to an audio track but you want to make sure something is still on screen the video leak feature will enable you to do that it'll uh, once you've selected the directory of music you, you have a couple options it'll play through that folder of videos and select numerically in numerical order if that's how they're labeled if they're labeled with text it'll it'll do it alphabetically or you can select the option to randomly select from that folder when you're playing audio tracks uh, so this does allow more seamless mixing from video to audio if you want to ensure that there's always something on screen too. So I'll demonstrate this for you real quick. Obviously these are regular audio tracks. Let's pull down my volume just a tad. So you've got your regular audio a video song. I've got the video filter on here in the library. So what I'm looking at of course is all videos right now. We've got a couple music videos playing. So when we go into options here, you're going to notice under preferences, and this is the new Dex 3.6. This is a beta. It'll soon be public, uh, a public release in the next couple of weeks. So by the time you're viewing this video, it may already be a public version. Uh, but when you go into options in Dex 3, you're going to notice a new tab next to audio routing labeled video. Click the video tab. You're going to see this option here, link videos to audio tracks. So you can automatically link videos to audio, audio tracks. As soon as that's ticked off, it's, it's going to enable it. So it'll automatically be looking in that directory that you select, which is down here, for videos to play when you're playing audio. I also like the random selection of videos because I've got videos named very different things. Um, you can do alphabetically. It doesn't make a difference really, but I just do the random selection option. So you got to tick off both these boxes or at least the top one, automatically link videos to audio tracks. And then you're going to choose your video folder to use. And I'm going to go ahead, go on my secondary drive here, go into my visualizations folder and select that folder. So I've got a few stock videos in there, got some other visual visualizations. Um, so now it's all set up. That's really all there is to it. So now if I exit out, I'll just go up to one of my playlists, dance, and just select a, a regular audio track out of here. And just grab this one. So these are audio tracks, you know, and you can tell because we do have the audio filter applied on the library, so you know you are indeed looking at only audio tracks in the middle browser pane here. And we'll just select a track to play. As you can see, as soon as I load it, it's already preloading one of the videos from that folder. I did not, I, I want to say right now, I did not <laughs> pre-select this video. It does look like your pigeon here is uh, getting down to the beat though. So that's really all there is to it. You select the folder, you, you enable it by ticking off the box and option, and anytime you play an audio track, it's just going to grab a, a, a file, a video file from that folder and play it. We do anticipate adding a few more options like looping video and a few other additions while we're also working on visualizations. Uh, and some text-to-screen options as well. Uh, so if you've got any questions about the new video link feature or DEX 3.6, please leave them in the comments section below. Thanks.